You are dirt, dirt. Oh, you are dirt, dirt. Oh. Well, hey everyone, welcome to it's a good word episode four. Devotional is based on God's good news. You may be tempted that I messed up recording, or you know the video is broken because it's so blurry. But I assure you that. The video is not broken. As you can see, this year, it's been, it feels like a long time since New Year's, right? It feels like a lifetime ago since New Year's. But everybody was talking about year of 2020, a year of clear vision and clarity. And today's title of this brief devotional is one or two. It's lo loosely based on Mark 8, 18, which says, Having eyes do you not see, and having ears do you not hear, and do you not remember? This is Jesus talking to his disciples, and he's going to ask them some questions about, do you not remember the five loaves for the 5,000, how many baskets you picked up? And they said 12. And the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many baskets did you pick up? And they said seven. And then he asked them this question, and he was saying to them, do you not yet understand? I don't know about you, but have you ever heard God say that to you? Jonathan, do you not yet understand? We're trying to make sense of what's going on in the world around us. And we're trying to look around and, and find God maybe in all of this, understand what God is doing. But perhaps God is helping us see clearly about life, about what's physical and what's spiritual. If you go to an eye exam, you will probably undergo a refraction test. I have a slight astigmatism, which means one of my eyes focuses a little bit different than the other. And I get headaches when I don't wear glasses which I'm not wearing right now, so the optometrist would be mad. But they'll, they'll ask you this question, one or two, right? Picture one, which one's clear? One or two, one or two. And we also have a choice before us. We have two choices as well when we're looking at the world around us, our own lives, trying to understand what's happening. We can see and interpret events with our physical eyes or with our spiritual eyes. One of the greatest stories in scripture to illustrate this is found in 2 Kings 6, 14 through 17. King Aram is sending horses and chariots to surround Elisha. Let's read this. He, the king of Aram, sent horses and chariots and a great army there, and they came by night and surrounded the city. Now when the attendant of the man of God had risen early and gone out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was circling the city. That's what he's seeing with his physical eyes. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha prayed and said, O Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. The servant was looking around. And all he could see was devastation and trouble. Obviously, that sounds familiar. But Elisha prayed, and we need to pray this prayer as well. Oh, God, open our eyes so that we may see you. You're on the throne. Your angels are surrounding us. There's greater truths that we can't see with our physical eyes that we need to seek out with our spiritual eyes. Paul even echoes this in Ephesians. He says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. Eyes of your heart, your spiritual eyes. Which ones are you seeing with today, physical or spiritual? The hearing eye and the seeing eye, the Lord has made both of them. So maybe we're struggling seeing with our spiritual eyes right now. What can we do? Well, this verse right here tells us God makes seeing eyes. All we have to do is turn to him and ask him to open our eyes. So questions to consider. I might throw some questions every now and then in these uh, good word episodes. But am I interpreting my life in the world through physical eyes or the eyes of my heart or through spiritual eyes? Do I need to ask the Lord to give me seeing eyes? I'll close you with a verse and then a quote. Psalms 119.18 says, Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. Open my eyes, Jesus, that I may see you and see that you're working and see that you're on the throne 
and see that those who are with us, with me, are greater than anything else I can possibly see with my physical eyes. C.S. Lewis has this famous quote, and I'll leave you with this. I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it, I see everything else. Until next, guy, next time, guys, God bless, grace, and peace.